Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. We are on Libra for the month of April. I have to do this real quick because I actually have to get ready to go to the bread and butter job. So this is hopefully going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Okay, um, real quick. So reading here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to it. If you choose to do the message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus side readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside and Tarot table. Everyone's always welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So, while you're here... If you want to hit the like button, that'd be pretty cool. If you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell, if you'd like to see more, that'd be okay too. But I'm not going to twist your arm and force you to do anything you don't want to do because that's not why I'm here. Anyway, two quick things before I do the invocation on the cards and throw them down for Libra for the month of April. One, never, ever make any life-altering decisions based on a tarot reading. It is just not good business. Just, that's just asking for bad mojo. I'm sorry. I don't recommend it. I read tarot when I don't recommend it. Two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you at all, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not always going to be your message. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, with Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of April 2021. I want to thank you for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Libra to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Why are you here, Libra? Three swords in the reverse. You're getting over it. I like it. That's awesome. You're getting over it. That's good stuff. What happened? Well, there was a minute where you weren't getting over it. Hermit reversed. Judgment. Okay. Okay, so you went through this period where you just, you couldn't shake it off, couldn't see the light anywhere. Somehow, some way, something, could have been you, could have been source, made a judgment call. What's going on right now? Nine of Swords reversed. Okay. Okay. Not even giving it a second thought, I don't think. Again, we'll get clarity. What's coming in the immediate future? Oh boy. Okay, well. <laughs> before I say a word, I have an Eight of Cups reverse and a Six of Pentacles upright. Before I say another word, I'm going to flip out the bottoms of the deck on these. Okay. Ain't that just how it goes, Libra? I think that's just how it goes sometimes. So, this was an event. You got your heart broke. Okay, fine, whatever. You're not so heartbroken about it anymore. You went through this period, or you may have gone through this period where you're like, you know what, I just, there's no sunshine. This sucks. I'm never going to heal from this. This isn't fun. The foundation under this wasn't stable. Three of Pentacles reversed. It just wasn't going to go anywhere. You can't build on something that's not steady. It's just, I mean, you can, but that, that it's bound to fall. So, I mean, two of wands, two of wands next to judgment. I think at some point you finally just made the judgment call to let it go, which is amazing. But here's this thing, this four of cups. I think if, I, I think a cup's coming out of nowhere. I'm going to clarify that. I think you got a cup coming out of nowhere right now. 